If I don't hit one big jump today, I'm not sleeping at night, so. You're not that guy, pal, trust me. You're not that guy. Yo, 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 what is going on, everyone? Today we are at County Line MX. It's my first time here. I've been wanting to come here for a while. They've got some big jumps, some nice ruts, so I'm really excited to try this place out. And uh, I'm out here with my friend Kenny. He's on his KX250F. I'm on my uh, 24 KTM 250. And I think his is a 2020 or something. I forget what year it is. But anyway, we're about to rip and I can't wait. Let's see how it goes. Be careful. Whoa. Wow, okay, this looks pretty dang fun. Wow, okay. It's probably for the better that I did a sight lap. This is not the track you just want to go send it. All these jumps I can do. Oh, here's the triple. Here's the big bad boy. I can do that. <laughs> I can definitely do it. I just cannot case that jump. That would suck. Kenny said he saw a 65 do it. So, I mean, or maybe it was an 85. Regardless, if an 85 can do it, then I sure as hell can do it. It's just a matter of uh, how big my balls are today. Wow, that's a nice tabletop. There we go. Oh, I wonder if you could quad that or triple it. Yeah, dude, it's fun, but <laughs> I took it easy. I, I see what you mean. Dirt is so nice. <laughs> I like never broke traction once that whole time I was uh, drifting or turning. But I'll go for this double. Woo! Damn. All right, second lap. I cleared one. All right, I'll do the step up next lap for sure. And I will probably do this triple by the end of the day. I'll do the double right now. Whoa! <laughs> It's so easy, dude. It kicks you so high with barely any speed. Yeah, that triple is definitely doable. Fourth gear, 60% should do it. Maybe 80. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> I bet I could do that, man, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> oh, sh Oh, damn, bro. That sucked. That sucked so much. That was a very unpleasant experience. Good thing I don't weigh a lot, dude. If I was fat, I'd be so screwed. That's the only reason I'm still alive. It's because I weigh like nothing. I'm like a twig. Oh, nice. Bringing that 125 out. Whew. Going inside. Wow, whoa, dude. All right, this time I'm getting that jump. I ain't afraid of you now. Woo! Whoa. Yeah, this triple bucks you forward. Woo! Kid shredding on his uh, two-stroke. I think it's a gas gas. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Woo! God, I love that jump. Oh my God! What's he gonna do? Oh! Damn, bro. That guy's fast. He's, he's probably going to quad that part. Is he going to quad it? Oh, he quadded it! Damn! I don't think I got it on camera, but dude, he launched it. Dang, bro. He got really, really high. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Oh! Bro, it's rolling. Oh, my God. Uh, not quite. Almost. God dang. Smells like Class A. <laughs> Oh god, that was sketchy as hell. I don't think I gassed it all the way. My chest protector came undone. I landed so awkwardly. This is a really good track, especially if you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but like, I'd say I'm still having a pretty good time. Hell yeah! My turn! Woo! Little short. Oh, here we go. Go, 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 go! Oh! <laughs> It is huge, bro. Hit the quad. Hit the quad. Oh! <laughs> Shoo! Dang, bro. I think we can do that, man. I, I genuinely think we're overthinking it. Shoo! 
so much. See, he bounced on the top and he was fine. Oh, we can do that, bro. God, bro. So much air. Damn, bro, I overshot that bad. Woo! Perfect landing. Woo! <laughs> that, that was very scary. I did not like that. Woo! Dang, bro, he said it. See how he does this jump out of the corner. Seat bounce. Woo! Oh god. Why was that landing rough? Woo! Hell yeah. Oh dude, I got that triple. Dude, I, I could do that. Best case scenario, I'd bounce right off the top. There's barely a landing too. I really shouldn't do it, man. I don't even know why I'm contemplating it. Like, there's two guys hitting it here, and I'm pretty sure they're both A-Riders. Oh, that guy is so freaking fast. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Woo! Holy sh <laughs> Bro jumped over me. Straight up, dude, that was epic. That's the same dude that still has the warning tag on his KTM. Bro got a bike like two hours ago and is already sending the hell out of it. What a beast. Wow. There's no one around. Now's the time to hit that triple if I'm going to. If I don't hit one big jump today, I'm not sleeping at night, so. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't hit it, don't hit it. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, they can see me. Oh, f oh, that was so f gnarly. Oh, thank you. I cased it and went over the handlebars. What? Yeah, I tried. My chest hurts so bad. Gnarly, bro. I saw that. Oh, that's gnarly. All right, everyone. So uh, I think that's a wrap for the day. I looked at my bike. Handlebars are a little twisted, and my right plastic is broken. Uh, not a big deal at all. Um, now I have an excuse to get a new graphics kit. But before before I go, I want to get a video of someone hitting it. Here we go. He's going for it. That's the jump that I freaking cased, man. Oh, my chest hurts. Dude, if I wasn't wearing a chest protector, I'd be so screwed. So, uh, oh, it hurts to breathe. It hurts to breathe, but I'm okay. I'm just really mad because, like, I wanted to do that quad. Oh, oh. I wanted to do that quad so bad. That was gonna be next. Maybe it's a sign. Oh, my chest hurts, dude. I really hate to imagine what would have happened if I wasn't wearing this chest protector. Alright, that's enough for the day. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, MX Udi here. Just wanted to start off this video by saying Happy New Year's. This, uh, this crash was quite a way to end 2023. But uh, I'm okay though. I just have some strawberries and some bruised ribs which have already healed thanks to the fact that uh, <laughs> I'm built different of course. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, Anyway, um, more importantly, I just wanted to thank everyone for all the support I've gotten. My TikTok and YouTube have done really well, so I appreciate all the support in that regard. But another thing I want to say thank you for is to the entire motocross community for just being so amazing. Uh, when I crashed, I was worried that I was going to cause another wreck since I was in a blind spot. But everyone was attentive, and everyone made sure the track slowed down, and, you know, someone brought me my bike. 
and I actually sprinted to the side of the jump trying to, you know, wave people down, but I didn't even have to do that. I honestly should have just stayed down because everyone was way ahead of me, and I really underestimated how attentive and compassionate the uh, community is. And, uh, you know, no one made me feel bad either. No one, like, said, why are you being stupid? They were just being nice, and, you know, you guys understand that things just happen sometimes, so I appreciate that. And not just from this incident. Over the last few years of me writing, like, I've met some amazing people. You know, the online community before I started writing kind of left a bad taste. A lot of people online are not nice, but once you go to a track in person, it's not like, you know, like, everyone is just really welcoming. Everyone's kind. Everyone's caring. Everyone's compassionate, supportive. Like, you name it. I've... There have been so many times where I just wasn't aware of my surroundings and I made mistakes and rather than be rude or yell at me, people would just politely explain what I did wrong and they were really patient about it. And there were also times where I forgot my tools or forgot some gear and people would lend me their stuff. Friends and even strangers too have done that for me. And there were even times where people took the time out of their weekend to work on my bike with me if something ever went wrong. They could have just said, no, like, you know, I'm not going to waste my time helping this kid. He doesn't know what he's doing. I came all the way out here, drove hours, so I could focus on my riding and have a good time. But, you know, you guys have taken the time out of your day to help me despite all of that. So I am really, really appreciative of that. So in closing, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support I've got. Thank you for all the riders and friends and memories that I made in 2023. Thanks for all the people that fly by me and do cool stuff. You guys are awesome, and I love seeing it. So uh, let's try to make 2024 even more fun. And um, I'll try not to crash as much this time. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And I, I hope you enjoy this crash, though, because it, it was kind of funny. See you guys later.